In this tutorial, we are going to connect Jumper Gateway and 3CX and can make outgoing or incoming call. We would like to achieve one stage to let VoIP directly call to GSM. Meanwhile, 3CX will not reject the incoming call and will show the caller ID. Before starting, we assume that you have already installed your Jumper Gateway. Now, Execute the 3CX phone system management console. Enter your username and password. We want to use our gateway as trunk, so now we are going to select PSTN devices and add gateway. Since our gateway has two ports, we will do this twice. Let's name the first port Jumper 1 and select generic in brand type. Click next. Enter 192.168.0249 in the gateway hostname or IP and let the gateway port stay as 5060. Click Next. The password is too complicated. Let's change it to a simple one, 10,000, just like the authentication ID. Then click Next again. Now we are going to set a rule. I want every call which start with 04 dial out by this port. So let's type 04 here. And change the stripe digit as 0. And finish. You can see that Jumper 1 is exist now. We are going to do all of this again. Click Add Gateway. This time, let's name the second port Jumper 2. Select Generic. And Next. Again, enter 192.168.0249 in the gateway hostname or IP. But change the gateway port become 5062. The reason we put 5060 or 5062 is because they are the default of our gateway. I will show you later. And next. Change the password to a simple one again. 10,001, just like the authentication ID, and next. In this time, I want every call which start with 09 dial out by this port. So we type 09 here, and change the strike digits as 0, and finish. When someone call to our gateway, they will be forward to extension 100. We can check the port and trunk status now. They both show not registered because we haven't set up the gateway. Let's set up the gateway. Enter the username and password. First, we set a safe service. Phone one first. 10,000, 10,000. 10,000 and 10,000. 192, 192 and 192, again and submit. Then do it again on phone 2. 10,001, 10,001, 10,001. 10,001 and 10,001. 192.168.05 192.168.05 OK, submit. We can take a look on C part. As you can see, C port of phone 1 and phone 2 are 5060 and 5062, just like what I said, are the default of gateway. Next, in the system setting, we are going to set both phone 1 and phone 2 to BT alerted. And submit. Then take a look on downlink route. Since we have already set the outbound rule in the 3CX, we can just select one stage here, both in phone 1 and phone 2. 
Next is the uplink route. We select six number and input the IP of 3CX server, which is 192.168.05, and the SIP account of the gateway, 10,000. And do it again in phone two. 192.168.05.10001. Set and save. After the gateway reboot, we can check the safe service. Both phone 1 and phone 2 are registered now. And check the 3C export and trunk status again. Now they show registered. When the GSM call arrives to gateway, its destination is the extension 100 of 3CX. We can check our extension status. It shows not registered. So let's set our SJ phone as extension 100. Execute SJ phone. Click options. Select profile and create a new profile. We can name it GenPro. Okay, select C proxy. Enter 192.168.05 in proxy domain. And 5060 here. Okay, account is 100. Password is 102. Let's go back to the 3CX and check the extension status is registered now. All right, we have done all the settings. Now we can make the test and check if everything works as expected. Let's do downlink first. We have just set to that all phone number which was 04 in the prefix dial out by trunk 1. So we use SJ phone to dial out. You can see the telephone is ringing. Now we have achieved one stage. Your VIP can directly dial the GSM or PSTL number. Then we can do the uplink test. I use this telephone to dial out to our gateway. As you can see, the incoming call has been received. It will not be rejected by 3CX, and it will show the caller ID.